Delilah. And Delilah, uh, we can't talk. Delilah is going to be one of our matching girls as well. She is a very, very um, quick learner. She's going to be one of those where we're going to find her, you know, like Harvey and Cody, or Harvey, Cody, Harvey, however, uh, doing the flashcards. Um, probably being able to do just as much as he did as far as sitting, standing, all those types of things. Uh, she is a little bit more where she takes a little bit more to warm up to people. Uh, she did actually, she did well today because we had a family come through and she kind of watched the little girl. Why well, don't kind of watch you go around and so forth and then all of a sudden she realized, hey, this girl's safe and I can go play with her. So it's kind of a good thing because, you know, so many times in socialization with dogs, people have this tendency that they feel like when we go in the stores and so forth, that they just have the right to touch the dogs or pet the dogs and people kind of come up and that's a lot of times where they get scared. So that's why we have to be their advocate. So if I have a dog that is kind of like a little bit more reserved about something, come, somebody coming up to them, I'm okay with that because that's really what I would rather prefer. Uh, we even have little little bandanas that Christina made for them that says, you know, pet and training so we can hopefully get so these people don't just stick their hands in and pet them. Um, Miss Delilah likes her yoga. Sweetheart, can you show me your paws up? Can you show me your paws up on the yoga board? I'll stand up this way. Oh my gosh, my knees. Can you show me paws up? No way, I mean, paws up on the yoga board. Remember, Delilah like me, paws up. Can you show me paws up? Good girl, can you go all on? All on, please. I know you want a treat for it, but go all on and then I'll give you a treat. Go ahead, all on. There you go, good girl. Good girl, we gotta get you so you stay on their bed, okay? How about ringing the bell? Can you do that? Oh, what is that? Can you do that? With the puppy that scored as high as she did on our stimulating sense, um, like I said, that leads us more towards the matching for her. Um, so while the like me is there and we do that with them, she's going to excel much more at this than a simple of that imitation or copying of the like me, right? Are you good? Uh, she also did very well on her focus skills. So hopefully she's going to be able to go be a good girl in focus, huh? Yes. Do you think that that's going to be a good thing? How about your leg? Let's see if we can do our leg. Delilah, can you lay down for me, please? Show me your leg. Show me your leg and I'll give you a treat. All the way, put your belly on the ground. Lay down. Show me your leg. Delilah, what did I ask you to do? Miss Pumpkin, she served it on there, but she didn't give it to me. Hey, are you gonna go in the corner and do your leg? You don't want the camera to see you? No, no treats if you don't do it. That doesn't count. I need to see your belly on the ground. Thank you very much. So once again, you see how we have to do it. If we can't, and we have to give them the time to understand because we're not boring them. We're not clicking them. We're not, you know, doing a collar or anything else like that. This is a dog that's thinking. This is a dog that we're developing personalities. We're developing a dog that is just learning that it has choices. You know, we're learning how they learn and they're, and we're teaching them how to learn in our world. That's really what the whole key to this type of training is. And there is Miss Delilah.